Good morning, everyone. I'm going to present uh, my study on clinical epidemiological and demographic profile of retinoblastoma cases in a tertiary care center. I have no financial interest and no conflict of interest. Coming to introduction, retinoblastoma, it is the most common intraocular malignancy of childhood, and it represents around 3% of all childhood cancers. The incidence of retinoblastoma on a global scale is 11 per million children in five years and younger age group. In India, the incidence rate stands at 0.6 cases per one lakh children. There are an estimated 5,000 new cases worldwide annually, with India alone contributing to 1,500 to 2,000 cases, that is 33% of the global burden. It is bilaterally about 25 to 35% of cases, and the average age at diagnosis of retinoblastoma is 18 months, unilateral cases being diagnosed at around 24 months, and bilateral cases before 12 months. Objective of my study was to determine the burden of retinoblastoma cases at our center, its clinical profile, and its association with demographic factors. It was a hospital-based observational cross-sectional study done at RIO IGMS Patna. Ethical clearance was taken, and the study population comprised patient presenting with leukocoria, that is white pupillary reflex to our OPD, and confirmed for calcification on ultrasound B scan for extraocular or extraclinic extension, as was confirmed on MRI brain with orbit. Inclusion criteria was all referred cases of suspected retinoblastoma and newly diagnosed cases at our center of retinoblastoma. And exclusion criteria was other ocular malignant conditions such as rhabdomyosarcoma, leukemia, etc. And cases of leukocoria other than retinoblastoma and all those who were not willing to be under the study. These were few clinical photos showing white pupillary reflex. And this extraocular, uh, that was this extraocular extension of tumor presenting as proptosis. Coming to result, a total of 32 patients, that is 38 eyes were identified with retinoblastoma out of 71,000 patients seen during the study period, giving the burden of disease to be 0.045%, that is 4.5 per 10,000 patients. Out of 32 patients, 68.75 uh, were male and 31% were female. The male to female ratio was 2.2 is to 1. And disease was unilateral in around 81% and bilateral in 19% patients. Mean age of patients at presentation was 30.86 months. And family history of retinoblastoma was seen in uh, one case, and rest were all sporadic cases. History of consanguineous marriage was present in four cases, that is 12.5%. Coming to clinical profile, uh, most of the patients presented with leukocoria, which was around 81.57% uh, patient, followed by squint, proptosis, and orbital pain. Coming to demographic distribution, uh, most of the patients presented in uh, 24 to uh, 48 months of age group, which was around 56.25%, uh, followed by less than two years, which was around 31.25%. And uh, we already saw that uh, it was more prominent in male and laterality, we had unilateral cases more. And most of the people uh, belong from upper lower uh, socioeconomic status according to modified Kuposomi classification. This is geographical distribution uh, showing different uh, districts of Bihar from where patient reported to our center. Most of the patients were from Purvi Champaran followed by Purnia, which was around 15.62% uh, from Purvi Champaran and 12.5% from, from Purnia. Uh, coming to grouping of the disease, it was based on international classification of retinoblastoma and most of the patients uh, presented in advanced stage, that is group E, which was around 66%. Coming to discussion, the burden of disease in our study was 0.045%, that is 4.5 retinoblastoma patient per 10,000 patient, though it is very less in frequency when compared to other diseases of the eye, and it was similar to a study conducted by Suha El et al, which had less incidence of retinoblastoma when compared to other diseases of the eye. In our study, 81% uh, patient belong to lower socioeconomic status, which was similar to study done by Sahu S. et al. and Abrahamson D. H. et al. In the present study, family history of retinoblastoma was present in one case, which was uh, similar to study done by Sethi S. et al., which had 3% cases with positive family history. Coming to sex distribution of retinoblastoma patients in different regions of India, uh, in our study, it was uh, male predominance, uh, which was almost similar to study done at different places like Nagpur, PGMR, Ames, and Mumbai in India. And mean age of diagnosis was al almost comparable with other uh, studies done at different places. <coughs> now coming to comparison of presenting symptoms, most of the patients in our study presented with leukocoria, which was almost similar to studies done at different places of India and uh, Pakistan, China, and Turkey. Coming to grouping of disease, uh, we had more of the patients in group E, uh, that is advanced disease of presentation, which was similar to studies done at AIMS, PGIMR. 
A limitation of my study was a small number of patients taken in the study makes it difficult comparing our result with those from other centers with larger series. In this study, all patients were not followed up, so survival rate analysis was not done. Incidence and prevalence was not calculated as it was a single center study, and gen genetic analysis of patients were not done. Coming to conclusion, based on our finding in the study, we conclude that leukocoria was the most common presenting symptom. Male predominance was seen in our study, which may be because female child is often a victim of neglect. Cases reported mainly from lower socioeconomic strata with advanced stage of disease presentation, which can be explained by the fact that parents and relatives are not aware of the disease due to lack of access to healthcare facilities, ignorance about early sign, illiteracy, <coughs> poverty, lack of trained personnel, and inadequate infrastructure at many healthcare centers. So there is a need for creating awareness so that tumors may be detected at an early stage, followed by timely referral, proper counseling of parents and relatives about the nature of the disease, importance of early treatment, available treatment options, and the need for follow-up is important. So uh, as we know, RBA accounts for a high tumor burden in developing countries, and the prognosis is closely related to the socioeconomic and cultural profile of the population. These barriers can be overcome to a certain extent by proper counseling of parents and their relatives, providing free of cost treatment to patients from lower socioeconomic strata. These are my references. Thank you.